Buffalo Bills and Elio DePaulos have a few things in common. For one, they're both a staple in Western New York. Two, they're both highly favorable among fans. And lastly, but certainly not least, there's something exquisite about the combination of great food and exciting football that goes hand in hand. Well, in 1965, the Bills were practicing right up the street. Uh, Paul McGuire's, you can see some of the pictures in the background here, and uh, many of the, the Bills at Book Richardson and all. And, and they used to practice up at the corner, so they'd sneak down here for a beer and a pizza back in those days and pasta. And my father would, and I remember as a child, taking the kids up in uh, the pizzas and sneaking them through the, the windows of the hotel room so that the Ron McDowell and Tom Day and uh, Sestak and all would eat and enjoy. And it's been a relationship for 50 years that we've been with the Buffalo Bills that we're very proud of. The Italian restaurant dates back to 1965, when Hall of Fame wrestler Elio DiPaolo opened the doors to a Western New York tradition, which soon became one of the most popular dining spots in the area. When my father started this uh, as a professional wrestler, and in 1965, when he decided to retire from uh, professional wrestling, uh, he never wanted to be hungry like he was in Italy, so he decided to open up a restaurant. And on a handshake agreement with George Taylor, he um, we started the restaurant right here in Blaisdell in, in uh, 1965, January 3rd. So we're coming up on our 50th anniversary in January, so we have a whole year's celebration coming up, and we're very proud. With Ilio being the athlete that he was and, uh, you know, the um, connection he has with the sports community, you know, the Bills want to be here. You know, they, they, they love the pasta meal, and um, it's a great place to be. Well, Ilio is a strong supporter of sports of almost any kind, but certainly of the Bills. And as you can see, the paraphernalia and photos that he has in the, uh, in the store here, it, it shows the long history he has. It's been a great tradition here with the Bills, win or lose, and we've been very proud of it. And needless to say that uh, things are looking on the up and up, not only for our team, but through or for our city, and we're very excited about it. Another thing people get excited about pretty much goes without saying, the food. Uh, lasagna and our veal parmesan are the, the top two sellers along with our uh, raviolis that we have and the red sauce is uh, needless to say the blood of our family but you know the steaks are seasoned to really a nice Tuscan season which are very good and our seafood fresh my brother gets it in every Thursday which is a, a really great you know fresh haddock phenomenal on Fridays. Later, we went in the kitchen to see what the chef was cooking up. I'm here with Carl, who is a chef here at Ilio de Paulo's, and he's going to show us a few wonderful dishes. So, Carl, what are we making first? Well, first we're doing uh, the classic um, the lasagna. Yeah. We're going to top it with a meat sauce and melt Parmesan or mozzarella cheese on it. I'll just Sounds make it. A little, I'll just push it a little over the edge, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, and then we have uh, uh, stuffed banana peppers, Colleen style. That's with uh, spinach and Roma tomatoes. Again, melted with mozzarella yep. cheese. Can't have enough. Can't have enough. And then we have our seafood dish here, which is seafood diablo, which is a spicy uh, uh, seafood dish with scallops, shrimp, and mussels, okay. in a marinara sauce over linguine. What's your favorite? You're always cooking. Oh, What's I, your favorite? I gotta go with the lasagna. Lasagna. Yeah. Okay. The camaraderie that happens around the table is uh, just something wonderful to behold and wonderful to share. So if you guys are looking for great food, great atmosphere, and great service, Ilio de Palos is the place to be. Now it's time for me to go get some food because I'm starving. From Ilio de Palos, I'm Alexandra Vitali.